I do not like cortisone injections, but that is the conventional approach to a lot of chronic pain. And so I'm gonna talk about something relating to that. Lack of improvement in pain after you get a cortisone injection most likely indicates a misdiagnosis of why you are in pain. The most likely reason this happens is because the treatment decision for where to inject was too heavily relied on by imaging, meaning that a doctor looked at your MRI, saw that you had a particular finding, let's say uh, tendinosis or a rotator cuff tear, and decides to put steroids there without doing a full, thorough physical exam. This physical exam is what is going to link the imaging to you because there are lots of patients who have rotator cuff tears and have absolutely no pain. And so we need to make sure that the things we are seeing on imaging are actually correlating to the person, which is you. And so when you are looking for a new provider, a new treatment approach, whatever it is, I strongly encourage you to really work outside of insurance, especially if you've been suffering in chronic pain for quite some time. And the reason for that is that insurance companies limit physicians on the time that they can spend with patients because reimbursements are so low and they keep getting lower for doctors. And so they're not gonna have enough time to properly do a thorough in-depth physical exam.